The BitBoy coup! Was the founder of BitBoy Crypto really fired from his own company? And why? And how does that even happen? Well, we're breaking it down for you right now on No Nonsense Nightly. Ben Armstrong, the influential figure behind BitBoy Crypto, a popular cryptocurrency news and education platform with over 3.3 million subscribers on YouTube, has unexpectedly parted ways with his own brand due to an alleged eternal coup led by TJ Shedd and Justin Williams. Et tu, TJ, et tu. <laughs> Armstrong's departure was confirmed by Armstrong himself after he was removed from the official BitBoy Crypto X account. He posted on his BenCoin account, where he said, quote, This is Ben. TJ Shedd and Justin Williams have attempted a coup at my company. Just confirming what is going around. It's true. There's been a mutiny at BitBoy Crypto and Hit Network, but it won't work. They have no leverage. Until they can clone me, I have nothing to worry about. It's also worth noting that this may be the lamest incident to be called a coup since my father burst into the living room, usurped the remote, changed the channel, and said he wouldn't give it back until his marathon of American pickers had finished. <laughs> they don't need any more antique gas cans, Dad. <laughs> the official BitBoy Crypto X account posted Monday, quote, Yesterday, BJ Investment Holdings, the parent company of Hit Network, took decisive legal action in removing Ben Armstrong from the company, end quote. Hit Network, which produces BitBoy Crypto, has stated that the concerns over substance abuse and financial harm to employees were pivotal in their decision to sever ties with Armstrong, despite expressing support for Armstrong's struggles. The company emphasized the significant damage his actions caused. However, BitBoy's shocking departure comes amidst a storm of controversies, including allegations of pumping and dumping meme coins, as well as a harassment lawsuit. Well, the why he got fired question becomes less and less confusing, doesn't it? I tell you, if I did one third of the things Ben is accused of, I'd be out of here faster than you can say, out my words and cut to color and a hair where ex tech difficulty. The full impact of Armstrong's exit at BitBoy Crypto remains uncertain, and these actions taken by Hit Network and Ben Armstrong have raised questions about whether his departure is actually an attempt to distance himself from potential liabilities. The crypto community has been ablaze with reactions to this news, with many supporters of Armstrong's coming to his defense, primarily focusing on how much he has done for the crypto space in the past, including his campaign to find Sam Bankman-Fried in the Bahamas after the fall of FTX. And they are asking that people not make any judgments while we wait to see how everything unfolds, because that's just like the crypto space. We never make any judgments before we learn the whole truth as to what's going on. Crypto is a very patient, understanding, peaceful place where... Wait, are you telling me that there's a new Sonic, Goku, Mickey, Shrek, Inu coin? <laughs> this is it. This is the big one. I'm all in. Let's go! You said it rugged? Not again. Armstrong's exit serves as a stark reminder for newcomers about the potential risks tied to crypto influencers. As the dust settles, the future of BitBoy Crypto without its iconic founder remains a question, leaving many wondering about the brand's next steps. So, what do you think? Was this a legitimate coup? Was it called for? Or is this some publicity stunt to get back in the spotlight and stay out of legal trouble? Well, let us know in the comments, and we'll let you know how this story continues to develop. And speaking of which, we have a fully developed story for you right here. Fresh out of the studio, all you gotta do is click. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more crypto news. I'm Michael Vardy, and this has been No Nonsense Nightly. GN.